Welcome to today's 3D print. Time for our maker boxes. I got three this time, so stay tuned. So we have maker boxes again this month, and I pay for all of my own maker boxes. Um, so we have maker box, we have the Alien 3D UFO delivery box, and we have the new Profi box from Filament One. So let's go over them. I'll start with the Filament One box. The Filament One box is a different sort of maker box. Um, I kind of like the box that you guys showed on the website. It'd be nice if you actually got that box. To see this delivered in that nice decorative box would be pretty cool. So they give you a treat, a goodie, and two, at least two kilograms of filament. So we got a Stroop Waffle. They certainly know how to follow the memes. <laughs> So we have a Stroop Waffle from Holland. We also have a 32 gigabyte SanDisk SD card. Cool. That's six bucks right there, seven bucks right there. $10 at regular price. So not bad. And a filamentive, uh, filament one sticker and a profi box sticker. So that's that. And this month we got a roll of their, I'm guessing this is, it actually doesn't say, but this looks like their gray glint, their glitter filament. And then a roll of traffic black, I believe this is. Yeah, I looked at it on the, the invoice, traffic black. So you get an entire kilogram of traffic black and an entire kilogram of glint gray. So, cool. Not as nice as Vertigo Gray, but it's not bad. I do like the Glint series. It's pretty cool. And all the goodies that it comes with. That's pretty cool. Then we have our Maker Box. I actually got this in person when I went to the last Maker Box meeting, but I held on to it until I got my Alien Box in the mail. So here we get a toner plastics sticker. discount card to get discounts on the included filaments. Filament PM, all 3D makers, printer parts and mods. So a little ad sheet for all 3D makers. And I am disappointed. No yum yums. What's up with that? No yum yums. So, uh, from Treed, this is Pneumatique. It is a flexible filament mixed with material from recycled tires. Oh, now that's cool. It's got like a, a rough, you're not going to be able to see this too well on the camera. Well, maybe. But it's got a rough, rubber textured finish, and it's a very flexible filament. Oh, that's going to be interesting. Very cool. I'm actually looking forward to printing with that. 3D Fuel Pro PLA, Industrial Gray. I like 3D Fuel PLA. That's the the autumn orange that I got for the cat. That was really nice. So I'm looking forward to printing with more 3D Fuels Pro PLA. From Toner Plastics, we have a yellow PETG. And then from Filament PM, we have an ABS-T. It's a less shrinkage, less warpage that prints with a glossy finish, ABS. And it does print like ABS. Bed temperature 9100, hot end 23250. Um, off or low fan, treat like ABS, ventilate, and enclosure advised. That's cool, a new form of ABS. Very interesting. If you have it enclosed, you shouldn't have a warping issue. If you don't have it enclosed, the lower warp should help a little bit. So that is this month's Maker Box. Once again, printed solid. I'm disappointed. Where's my yum yums? I always look forward to my little bit of yum yums. Somebody else clued me in that we should have gotten Sour Patch Kids, and I like Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> um, link down below is a, I guess, a semi affiliate link. I get credit toward my next box if you buy with my link, so I appreciate that. I pay for my own boxes. Next up is 
the alien UFO box. And once again, the themed box, St. Patrick's Day theme. Let's make sure I don't show my address. That always goes off when I'm doing a stream. Oh, well, whenever I'm doing a video, that goes off. <laughs> So we have our flyer for this month, and once again, themed flyer. I really like this. Very cool. I got my yum yum from last month when I was missing my Valentine's lollipop. Thank you. UFO overlords have come through. This month we get some Haribo Gold Bears. Now we get a project. Uh, first we have a printed solid sticker. That's cool. And looks like we have a soldering project. Cool. I see a perf board, a 9-volt adapter, some resistors, and a bunch of LEDs. Well, isn't that cool? And then we also have a little two-color lizard. We have some paint brushes and some paints. So we have some yellow ochre neon pink ultramarine blue looks like purple orange red and some light sap green little bottles of acrylic paints so that tells me that we have a painting project this month that's interesting and a couple of different paint brushes Ooh, more goodies luck of the irish it's like a mint so what is the project this month does it say in here So it looks like the goodie is the paints. And I don't know what the project is. Bonus project. Oh, a green leprechaun hat with flashing LED lights. So this is a little flashing LED light kit so you can go out in holiday spirit. That's cool. Very cool. I really like the projects. I haven't built a single one of them yet, but I love the projects. <laughs> I like the idea that I have. A, I can always roll back on a little kit of projects and have something interesting to do. Filament. That's what we're here for. We have Ranger Green PETG from IC3D. That looks like a very deep mix of um, forest and olive drab. Like a very, very um, gray green. Ooh, Gradient Rainbow from Snow Labs. So it's a transitional filament that changes colors through the filament, which is very cool. We have a gold silk from, looks like it's Stro 3D. Strong Hero 3D, that's right. Stro 3D is Strong Hero. So Strong Hero 3D gold silk PLA. If you print it slow and hot, you get a really nice shiny finish, kind of like this. This is a yellow from Esun. But you get that really nice, glossy, chromey finish. That's what you get when you print with the silks. You do want to try to print a little thick because silks have weak layer bonds. So if you print something thin, they tend to break. So be gentle with it. But the result is worth it. Silk PLA is beautiful. And then filament one, green glint. So we have some green glint filament to play with as well. So that is our three maker boxes for this month. Um, the Profi box is something new. I don't have an affiliate link for that, but there is a link where you can go check it out down below. It's $45 a month, which is actually not bad considering the filament sells for 30 bucks a kilogram. You're getting a minimum of two kilograms a month for $45 a month. Not bad. If you just want a steady stream of filament to play with, especially a large amount of it, there you go. And the Maker Box and the Alien Box are their usual wonderful boxes with interesting filaments and the cool projects that come with the UFO Box. I really like that. I hope he's able to continue doing that. I know his profit margins has got to be pretty tight on these things, but they are fun. And I'm hoping he's able to make it work. Because it would suck to lose this box. It's a lot of fun. The links down below for the Alien Box and the Maker Box are semi-affiliate links. I get a... I think it's like a five dollar credit um so if you know if two of you purchase an alien box i get 10 bucks off my alien box next month and i think you guys get five bucks off your first box too and that's it um 
I want to thank everybody who's using my Amazon links. I appreciate that. It is one of my primary sources of income. I appreciate it. And to my 103 patrons, you guys are amazing. <laughs> um, I'm going to start doing a at least once a month um, live stream. It's going to be private just for my patrons. You know, basically private tech support kind of thing. You know, an hour or two, maybe three. Um, just to just for my patrons to give them a little bit of direct attention because they support me every month without a complaint in the world and I appreciate that. So I will see you guys on the stream next week. I did get the new TiVo Neros in, so we will be doing that. It's in a shockingly small box. I'm really surprised how small the box is. I haven't opened it yet. We're gonna do that on a stream. But um, it's very small. Yeah, it's a 300 by 300 by 400 printer. That's gonna be cool. <laughs> I'm guessing because they're able to use a unified base instead of the exterior brain box, it takes a lot less space in the package. Double bonus. And if you're going to Murph in a few weeks, I will be there. I will have my two tables. I will be bringing at least two, possibly three printers. I'm kind of enamored by three of the ones that I have right now. The order that we did last week on the stream is working out incredibly well. A little sneak peek for those who stick around to the end. I'm printing out a really big one of these. Yeah, this will definitely be featured in the video. This was printed on the order. I'm impressed. The linear guide rails work pretty darn good. And I'm, as soon as I'm done this video, I'm going to put some protopasta candy apple red in here. And I'm going to print out the inserts for that box. So that'll be interesting. And if you're at Murph, you'll get to see my life-size child Groot. He's almost a meter tall. He's 825 millimeters tall and two kilograms of plastic plus paint. So <coughs> that'll be there. I'll also have my two and a half kilogram Lego man there. And I have a secret project I'm working on. I don't know if it's going to succeed, but if it does, it'll be almost, it'll be over seven pounds of plastic, 3.3 kilograms of plastic, silk plastic. <laughs> very very beautiful color and it will be almost 500 by 500 millimeters in size and it's going to take about 140 to 160 hours to print with a 1.2 millimeter nozzle so yeah that's a that's a big one <laughs> I tried to skin it down I got it down to 1.4 kilograms making it hollow with two perimeters that failed so I'm just gonna have to play it safe three perimeters and 10% infill just to make sure it succeeds and so far it's working it's got five islands and three of the islands have joined together so it looks like it should be stable and it should successfully finish as long as I do the filament swaps since I will have to swap through four rolls of filament <laughs> to print the thing <laughs> oh my god it's so big uh, we shall see so I will see you guys on the stream on Wednesday and anybody who's going to Murph I will see you at Murph as well stay tuned